¿Qué pasa? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video on my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the latest and new addition to Dokkan Battle, which is the Extreme Tech Half a Lifetime for Revenge Paragus. Now, this character is a free to play unit which anyone can acquire and maximize, so there is no real um a rare ability about this character as you can see he's purple already and yeah let's actually have a look so the way i built him was actually to go um full dodge as far as i can go obviously with the equips i still don't have that many good equips so that one is gonna have to struggle but as for now i went with full dodge as far as i could and wherever else there was no dodge i went with uh, damage reduction or i went with crit right i don't see the need of going with um extra additional attack for this character but yeah dodge is definitely the way because his main purpose as far as i can see is actually to just buff broly right so that's the way i see for this for this character right so if you look at his skills for example right uh, by the way, his leader skill is actually not bad, yeah? Um, keep plus free. Um, wait, let me translate this. Uh, wait, pure saints, category key plus free and HP. Attack and defense plus 50%. So he def definitely has a decent leader skill, but obviously um, you wouldn't want to use him as a leader. Um, nevertheless, um, his um, super attack is actually the Death Punisher, which greatly raises attack and defense for one turn. And it causes supreme damage to enemy, lowers attack and sealed super attack. Like, yo, that is the sort of stuff you want to be looking for with an lr character right the fact that this guy has all of this in his um super attack right for a free to play you are unit it's very very good actually not gonna lie this is very good now as for his passives um there's quite a lot to go through so he has an entrance animation right which he activates once only when it activates attack and defense uh, get an increase by plus 100 percent and he also launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack so for five turns from the character's entry turn when there is an ally whose name includes broly on the team up in the character's entry there is key plus free attack and defense plus 180 percent plus an additional attack and defense plus 100 percent when performing a super attack and yeah I'm not, I'm not gonna go through the rest so essentially the first one and the last one is actually the best because the last one key plus two and attack defense plus 25 percent for all allies whose names include broly and a high chance of evading enemies attack including super attack plus an additional chance of evading enemies attacks including super attack plus 20 percent as the third attacker in a turn so you always want to go from on the third spot initially within the character's attacking turn starting from the sixth turn from the character's entry turn so yeah in a rotation ideally you want to place him last or middle right the tech broly if you have him in the same rotation first or second depending where this guy goes right that's typically how you want to do it or you do it the other way around now anyways let's jump into some very challenging gameplay we're going to be choosing uh demonic awakening quest uh the very extremely uh, hard challenging new quest the way the devs described it um where you face brody and yeah we'll see how this guy actually performs alongside the team so we're going to be doing this quest this one is the one i'm talking about so it is definitely not an easy quest and a lot of people are actually struggling with this. So we're going to be taking an additional Tech LR Broly. I could have taken the um, the the AGL Broly as well, but yeah, this one seems all right. Should be it should be actually good enough. So this is the lineup we'll be going through, and yeah, let's jump into the quest. Right, deactivate auto and yeah let's also yeah i, I wasn't uh, don't have the animations on no well anyways he's gonna do his animation now let me quickly um swap them around let me quickly yeah and you know what i'm, I'm just gonna skip all the animations it's just time consuming so 
This rotation is pretty bad, not gonna lie. This rotation is very bad. Um, yeah, we don't have a Broly here. Um, this one is gonna be very bad. Yeah, let, let's see what we can do. Um, let's see what we can do. There is nothing much to be done here anyways. Th th this rotation is awful. Very bad. Uh, yeah, let's see how much damage we're taking. Turles is tanking. Uh, as so I thought at least. Um, yeah, Tur Turles surprisingly in this lineup, he's not really doing that much damage. Um, so I've, I've already played this and each time Turles, whenever he goes above 1 million, that is like a highlight, right? But yeah, let, let's see how it goes. Um, we might we might lose this uh, this time around because the first time was initially very bad. We have a very bad rotation. Yeah, let's let's see how it goes. Um, this Broly, uh, by the way, works so good in a team with the new Tekalar Broly. Um, it's just insane. So, 26. Okay, we, we we dealt with it. We dealt with it. Nice, nice, nice. We got both in one turn, which is not exactly what I want. Uh, but yeah, got to be putting Freezer in the middle. And... Yeah, we're going to have to work with it. Um, we'll activate both of them. Both of them will be doing their transformation. Um, we want to be dealing damage, right? So we're going to be trying to get the... No, we didn't. Okay. Uh, I was going to get the int for Frieza, but apparently that's not the case. Let's see how much damage we're dishing out, right? Because... Ideally, we would have liked to have Paragus on a team rotation with Broly. Um, we'll have to see if the rotation... I don't know if the rotation actually stays. Yeah, it does. This is going to be awful. This is going to be awful. Let's see. The next one. This Freezer, by the way, is so he works so well in this team. Um, he works very, very good in this team. Like, um, I'm actually happy that I put him in there. And this team is so fun. Like, I'm not going to lie. Uh, since I've pulled this Broly, I actually found a use for this Paragus. And the team is actually fun to play with. Like, that's the fun fact. Especially with the new Easy A in Broly as well on the team. It's just fun to play with. Right, we have a good rotation here. This is decent. This is very decent. We're going to be placing it like that. Uh, he is going on third, actually. Wait, if we go on... He has more defense if we place him. Yeah, we're still going to go like this. We're going to be choosing this one here. Um, let's go with these. Um, yeah, we only have these two. Let's take them. And let's take these. Let's see. The, the Int Broly, by the way, he does so many... Um, extra attacks which is just ridiculous i was earlier today i was playing the easy a the super saiyan free easy a and i'm like uh, reaching i've reached level 101 now and the broly is just on a team and if he's first or second turn whatever he's just dealing damage like each attack is dealing like 3.5 million and he does like four in a row right so he's dealing seven million in total per two attacks so 14 million which isn't too bad, even by today's standards, right? I mean, obviously, there's characters which deal may way higher damage, right? But for a character that is not an LR, rather than that he's in New York and he's uh, just had his easy A, he's not too bad. So, we actually did quite well here. Um, let's see the next rotation. This is very good. This is very, very good. Right, we can go to the next one. You know what? Let's actually play it once. Uh, there it is. Right. So, if we're going to be going with this. Let's actually showcase this. Because Brody just is so menacing. And there is. A fun fact, right? When <laughs> If you have Tekalar Broly on the team, and you're running Paragus, the T Tech uh, Paragus, right? And when Paragus has his entrance animation, and you're running the Tech LR Broly on the same team, and, it, and he's in the same rotation... Then he actually shows up behind him, and you can see him in the animation for uh, <laughs> for for 
Paragus. So let's see. Yeah, we're gonna be doing this. Then int don't have none there. Yeah, that was actually not too good. Anyways, um we should be alright. We should be alright. Broly is gonna tank the damage. Frieza is also gonna tank any damage. We we'll probably first turn here uh destroy the first phase of Broly and probably go straight to the second one. So the second phase is sometimes where you need to activate any item to actually stop you from taking more damage due to the um, group attack, which the Brody does, which is, depending on who is on your current rotation, it can be very annoying. So we finished phase one. Phase two, we have both Brolies. That is very good. Uh, that is nice. You know what? On the first one, you're going to place turrets. Turrets doesn't need to tank any anything. These two will have... Let's see. Uh, yeah, we're going to we're gonna be doing like that. So, um, let's see. We're going to activate him as well. Uh, yeah. We don't have any STRs right there. So, we go, let, let's take these out the way this one and these as well right turrets by the way he's only there to be a support to the team he's not really a damage dealer or anything so uh don't mind his low damage numbers oh 20 million 20 million Yo, 16.8 million. That is very high against this Broly because the defense numbers this Broly has are off the charts. What is he like? Uh, can we even see the defense numbers? One second. That's... Oh, yeah, he got stunned. Very nice. Very nice. He got stunned as well. Now the easy A Broly can do his work. Let's see how many attacks he can throw in there. If we're lucky, he does like four attacks of four million. That would be nice. That was 1.3 million. So we were at 5.3 million already. Plus another 2.2. .2, so we're at 7.7 .7 million damage. Which isn't too shabby, I guess. And he dodged as well. Very nice. Very nice. I'm very happy with this Broly, actually. So let's actually see. Can we actually... Um... Yeah, there is no stats, unfortunately. So let's see this. Um... We are probably going like this. Uh, yeah, we will probably do this. And we're going to start off with Frieza. Let's go. Let's push this. Get these in there. And get these in there. Nothing better out there. I hope Paragus at the end doesn't take too much damage. Uh, he's sort of the weak link in the team. Um, apart from the fact that he's that he's able to buff, that is his pure advantage, right? If there is a Broly, uh, he works so well with this Tekalar Broly, um, which is why I'm taking him. But if he takes hits, he just takes them, right? Uh, it's very difficult to tank um, if you have him. So that's why my uh, recommendation is definitely to go with um, defense and dodge. Right, dodge first. Oh, yeah, nice. He got stunned as well. Very good. Yo, he dodged. Oh, Paragus. Paragus, you're actually you're actually surprising me by the minute. Uh, you know what? We're going to be doing this. Turles doesn't want to take any hits, actually. Or we're actually going to be doing this. This is actually even better. Then, let's see. Yep, we're going to be going like this. So, let's see. Do we have anything here? This. Um, then we have this. And we have a few STRs. Nice. A bit of regeneration. That's always good. And we're not going to get, get attacked. Now it's time for Broly again for his ultimate. Considering this game mode is extremely challenging um it has been going very well for me at least using this team with this team i've never lost so it has been going very well i still need to clear 
two more quests where you take either Goku, a Super Saiyan Goku on a team with you, or where the other one where you have to have six characters of the class Planetary Destruction on the team. So I, need, I still need to do those two. But apart from that, uh, if you, you need to have the Paragus on your team as well to clear one of those missions. So we actually did it. Um, nice. Right, right, right. Let's quickly have a look. And this is that. This is actually way better because this probably will take those hits. N oh, nice. He's actually, now we activated the passive of the EZA Broly as well, which is just awesome. So we can actually go to work. And we're collecting good spheres as well. Very nice. Let's do these. Right, we should be doing some good damage now. What was that? 1.11 million? No. I think I've mistaken that. 7 million! 7 million! Uh, that is very good for him. That is very good. If he does 3 or 4 attacks, bro, 6 million. So he did in total over 13 million already in terms of damage in one turn. 13 million, the new E, and another 7.3 million. He did 20 million. The Easy A uh, Awakened. Int Broly has done 20 million in one turn of damage. Yes, three attacks, but 20 million. So, Broly again. I feel like we haven't seen Paragus in ages. Where is he been? Where is he hiding at? So, he got a stun. Very nice. Um, still two attacks going through. Oh, yeah, we're getting that. We're getting that attacking. Let's see how much damage we're taking. Uh, shouldn't shouldn't actually be taking too much i hope freezer might take a bit more yeah ten thousand i can i can live with that that's that's not too bad right two million that's good that's good we actually did very well there so let's see um yeah do we want to have paragus at the beginning he is gonna take damage this broly <sighs> That's going to be a difficult one. Um, yeah, that's going to be a difficult one. We're going to leave Broly at last because he will take more hits. We're going to do it like this. Let's see if we can regenerate a bit more health. I don't think we will be able to. Oh, we definitely... Oh, we have a Dokkan super attack in there. I haven't even, I haven't even looked at that. Bro, nice. That's good. Might even be GG, uh, depending. We have three bars left. We might even be able to kill this Broly on this turn, actually, um, when the LR Tech Broly uh, gets to business. We are past the seventh turn already. If you would survive one more turn, the passive for um, Paragus would get activated again. Let's see... Right, right. That's the enemy Broly, right? That was the enemy. Yeah, nice, nice. Broly dodged. That's good. Uh, Paragus took hits as expected, but not too bad. That was actually good. We survived. We survived very well. So, Broly is going to be doing his super. Did good damage. Another 12 million on the way. Ten million on the way. We're doing another one. Yeah, we're going down to the last one. If he does another one, we are GG. But I don't think he will be doing another one. We'll probably be finishing him in the next rotation. So, considering... Let's see. Uh, is he doing another super? No. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. So, considering we are actually um, doing very good. Right, we're going to be moving them like this. Uh, it should be GG with this turn, actually. We're going to be activating the turrets as well. And let's see. We're going to be taking him, these, and just in case, turrets is going to take all of these just to get a bit of health back. But it should be GG now. Go on, Broly. Show us what you got. 23 million. If he does 23 million, it's GG. Yep, 18 million. We are... Officially over, guys. 
So, uh, that was more or less the showcase for every other character and more or less <laughs> not really Paragus. But as you can see, he performs actually very good in a team with Broly's. So he has his place, which is actually on the side of Broly's. Um, where he fits in best. So ideally any team where you're running Broly, um, he can actually work, right? So bear in mind, he's not all too bad. Yes, damage numbers are laughable somewhat. And apart from um, the fact that he's only going to get activated at turn five, yeah, he's, he's not really one of the best characters, but definitely not one of the worst. So he's definitely usable again as i said especially in a team full of brolies and with that i'm going to conclude the video thanks for tuning in take care of yourselves until next time